Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to talk about a problem that people are encountering with their M1 MacBook Pro after installing the macOS Monterey. Now, if I demonstrate you in live here, if I try to install this application, for example, it gives me this error. No matter how many times I do this, it gives me the same result. It says this application can be opened because it was not downloaded from the App Store. We believe there are a lot of people out there are encountering the same problem different. In today's video, we're going to be go ahead and show you how easily you can install any application that you literally want on your Mac. And if you want to solve this problem, the first work that you have to do is simple. Just go ahead and click on your Apple logo, come down to your system preference and click on your security and privacy. Once you open up your security and privacy, you need to choose your general. Now, down here, if you take a look at this option called Allow Apps Downloaded from App Store and also App Store and Identification Developer. Now, if you want to change it, the first work you have to do, click on this lock and put down your password. Click on Unlock. And right afterward, it's going to give you the Allow option. Okay, now just click on here or once you have just opened up this application, you're going to be able to receive a, a pop-up here. You also can click on Open Anyway, then it's going to allow you to open that application. Okay, so this is the application Windows is popping right here. Now you can click on Continue and then you will be able to install the application on your Mac. Now enter your password, click Install Software. Well, now it says the installation was successful. Click and close and just lock it back on and now you're good to go. Now let's talk about what else can you do to solve that problem, especially if it gives you this error, okay? Now to solve this problem, the next step we're going to tell you to just download the application once again from where you have downloaded already, okay? Now you can open up your browser of course and you can go to the website and try to download the application. Alright guys, now after re-downloading your application on your Mac and your problem will be solved after doing this process. Hope you find this video useful, if so, Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.